So today's video is can you use rainwater in a garden pond? So it's getting to that time of year again, weather's warming up a bit, people's ponds might be evaporating a bit faster and um, some people might want to use some rainwater saved up uh, to top up the ponds and obviously save some money on their water bill. So I thought it'd be a good idea to do a video on is rainwater safe to use in a garden pond? Now a lot of you are probably watching this video if you read the title and you're going well you know it rains in ponds doesn't it? It's been doing it for millions of years so how come you're making a video about is it actually safe for your fish? Right so there's a lot of chatter out there internet forums, other people's videos, etc. advising people um, how bad rainwater is and how you know it can really hurt and kill all your fish. So I just want to do a video about that and just explain a few other uh, aspects of it and also the reality of rainwater in a pond and can it actually or will it or does it even hurt your fish or change the water parameters. So the main reason why people say you can't use rainwater in a pond is the uh, the pH is different, so the rainwater pH is normally a lot, a lot lower than what the fish are used to. So tap waters, especially where we live, is, is around about eight in our area. Rainwater might come out, you know, a five, five and a half, maybe six, just depending on where you live. Um, and also the carbon hardness in, in rainwater is very low as well. So the um, fish need minerals in the water, um, and rainwater doesn't have that. So usually if you're gonna just use a, a pond full of rainwater, you'd have to buffer the water just to make sure that the, par the parameters are okay for the fish to live in um, and it has enough minerals and everything else in that the fish need to survive. We know rainwater's pH is different and the carbon hardness is different to what fish are used to anyway. But the reality is, so this is, this is the, the main thing I wanna to talk to you about. So the reality of rainwater actually changing the chemistry of your pond to a level where it's dangerous for your fish is quite slim. So I think the most important thing is just to understand what type of fish we're keeping. So koi carp, goldfish, normal carp, um, roach, rudd, whatever type of fish you're keeping in a pond. These fish do not mind fluctuations at all. That's why they're such good pond fish. Um, and we find them all across the world. Lots of different countries have different climates, different water chemistry, but they don't mind all of that. That's why they're such good fish to keep. If you look at fish like a tropical fish, if you've got any of you have ever kept uh, fish in a tropical fish tank, where do you find those fish? You generally find them in very, very specific countries in the world and they will not live in any other place because they're very sensitive to different water changes, um, temperatures and parameters. So that's why we have koi fish, that's why we've got goldfish, because they're really, really hardy and they won't mind fluctuations. So a little bit of rainwater every now and then is not gonna cause them any problems at all. So general rainfall isn't going to be enough to, to harm your fish or change the parameters of the water. It's very difficult to change a large pond's parameters with a bit of rainfall. Um, so just bear that in mind. So general rain, rain and everything else on a pond is absolutely fine. It's not gonna make much difference. The only time it can make a difference is if you had, for instance, all of your gutters plumbed in to go into your pond. So in a big storm, um, you, you normally just have a little bit of rainfall going into the pond and you've channeled all this water in. You know, <laughs> technically that could probably cause some problems because it's just too much water and it's replacing the water that's in the pond. Um, and, and there could be a bit of a fluctuation which could upset your fish. So let's look at the reality of actual topping up your pond with rainwater um, to enough rainwater for it to actually affect your fish and the water parameters. So let's just go for instance again the 5,000 gallon pond. So if you were topping up 20%, let's just say you did a water change 20%, you shouldn't really do water changes unless you've got a problem by the way. Um, let's just say topping up 20% of water who's got 5,000 litres of rainwater around. So and even if you did put 20% of rainwater in, is it really actually going to be enough to affect your fish and actually cause them any harm? It is slim, but again, it, nobody has that. So the reality, there's no point telling people not to top up your pond with rainwater because most people might just have a little water butt lying around um, and they might use that. So 100%, if you're topping up your pond from a water butt, if you've got a lot of water in there, and, you know, a, a water butt or two isn't going to cause any problems at all. If you had a small little like a 100 gallon pond and you did a full water about 200 litres, that's almost half the amount of water. So that could cause problems. So I wouldn't recommend doing that. But if you've got a, you know, a large amount of water 
and you've got some spare water butts, I've got some fresh rainwater in, by all means use that. I wouldn't recommend using an old water butt that's been sat there and it's all gone stagnant, so just be a little bit careful of that. But a bit of common sense, really. Um, old water butts, no. Fresh water, absolutely fine. And I think another thing people are a bit wary about using rainwater is that they're scared of getting parasites. Um, they think, obviously, because you know birds may have been in, on a gutter and they've done their business in the gutter and then it rains into your water butt, then you pull that water into your pond and people are worried about parasites going into the pond. So the other thing you just need to think about, so birds aren't trained where you use the toilet. They'll fly over anywhere and they'll take a dump. So you might think, oh, you're not using rainwater in your pond. Uh, you're not going to get parasites, but that, you know, think about it. Birds will just do it wherever they want to do it. So you can't stop parasites in a pond. Unless it's an indoor pond and you can shut them off completely to the outside world. It's actually very normal to have parasites in a pond. Fish get parasites, that's what they do. The problem people have is if your fish's immune systems aren't up for it and also the water quality is not great, then they will struggle to fend them off naturally. So most fish can naturally fend off parasites. So if you keep your fish healthy all year round, water quality is good, a few parasites, they will have them naturally and they can naturally fend them off. It's only when the water quality is not great they get stressed out. Most parasites are secondary infections anyway. So just bear that in mind. Keep your fish healthy, keep your water quality good. Any parasites that come along, they're more than likely just gonna fend them off naturally. So just remember, rainwater moderation is absolutely fine. It's unusual to get enough rainfall to actually go into a pond and damage or hurt your fish. So um, little storms, a little bit of topping up here every now and then, absolutely fine. If, if you had a whole swimming pool of rainwater and you wanted to transfer it to your pond for some strange reason then I probably wouldn't recommend that without just checking your water parameters first but generally speaking don't worry about the rain rain is good it always rains it's been raining for millions and millions of years on all lakes rivers ponds across the world it's not a bad thing it won't hurt your fish so if you enjoyed the video click that like button don't forget to subscribe for more so what our channel's about we like to put things in, into perspective to help people to realize it's not all doom and gloom. Fish keeping is easy, especially the fish we look after. Keep the water quality good, feed them well. You're gonna have a good time with your fish. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.